What's up guys? Thanks for clicking. Uh, ben here, welcome to another video. Um, today I've bought the Maverick Quantum out. I know you've not seen the Maverick Quantum that much on the channel. Um, truth is, this car annoys me. Um, and I'm going to tell you why it annoys me now. But I've bought it back out. I've had this car, this was actually the first RC car I bought this time around, getting back into the hobby. Um, and I bought this back in April. And it was the start of, start of this journey really. But this video is all about why this car annoys me. So without further ado, let's have a look at the car. Well, before we get started, up here is a link to my video uh, where currently I'm giving away a car to one lucky subscriber. Uh, so if you haven't yet, go over to that video. Well, hit the subscribe wherever you like, but go over to that video, leave a comment on that video, and I'll enter you into the draw. Uh, I think at the moment we're currently 40, well, 40 subscribers. So you've got, a, at the moment, there's a 40 in one chance. Um, we're hoping to get to a thousand, but if we don't, I shall uh, give you a bit of advance warning, but we'll just draw it early because I know a thousand's a lot for someone who's just started like me. Anyway, back to this video and back to the So, why does this car annoy me? Well, let me tell you. So this car is not particularly badly priced. Um, you could sort of call, say it's in the beginner, beginner category, but it's in a bit of a weird, a weird place. So when I bought this, it was 159 pounds. And I thought 159 pounds is not bad for a starter car, but you don't get a battery, you don't get a charger. Um, it'll run 2S or 3S. So the obvious thing is to go out and buy a 3S battery and a charger. But if you buy a 3S battery and a charger for this car, you're talking probably 200, 210 quid, you know, and for 230 quid, you can get yourself like an armor, one of the armor mega range, like a, um, a granite or uh, a Typhon or something like that, uh, which comes with a battery, albeit a nickel metal hydride, but it comes with a, with a 8.4 volt battery, so they're pretty quick. So it doesn't come with a battery, so it's in a weird price point. Um, it's cheaper than like an FTX Bugster, something like that, if you get, if you get the brushless one. So, you know, it, it is what it is, but I just think it's a weird price point to put it at. So, first time out with this car. Bear in mind, my first ever time of RC this time around. Um, the steering servo fell off. Now, it's upside down and you can't get to it. So that's game over, really. If you're out and about like I was, that's the end of your fun. Um, which is annoying more than anything else, but, but that's one thing. Uh, second time out, the pinion come undone. So you have to take the, take the cover off, take the pinion off, lock tight it back on again. Um, the bolts, the plastics, plastic's not very good on some parts. So like where you bolt the shock absorbers into the bottom arms and stuff, if you even remotely tighten it up, it strips the threads out of it and, and then bolts start falling out. Um, oh, and it's just a pain, a real, real pain. Uh, the bottom arms, I mean, this one I bought, I bought this right on the crossover, so it's got the, the hardened drive shafts in, in the front and rear. It's got the, apparently the upgraded suspension arms um, and it's got the heavy duty uh, tie rods. But these tie rods are only heavy duty in the middle. They still, I don't know if you can see it there guys, but they still screw in, in the little thin bit there. And consequently they break, I've broke them. The suspension arms, for some random reason, are two hollow separate bits stuck together. And they break. They give you spare ones in the box, but that's because, that's because they know they're gonna break, let's be honest. But anyway, that's that. But by far the worst thing, with this car anyway, I don't know if it's the same with everybody's, but by far the worst thing with this car is the suspension. The oil was so thick, so thick that there was no suspension travel so consequently if you were if you were going fast when you brake the suspension goes down like that to absorb the force of the car moving forwards this suspension didn't all it did was flip it straight over so the first time i took this car out i went across a field put the brake on it flipped it and it snapped the spoiler off the back the first time i ever used it and i think if i if i if you just come to the hobby i mean these, these are not big things i mean i finally fixed the oil <laughs> Obviously, as you can see now, the suspension is lovely, but you don't know what the oil weight is, so I've tried about seven or eight different oil weights. I've got to the point now where I can do an oil change in these shock absorbers in about 10 minutes, or all four. 
Um, I've got now CST 200 oil in this, that actually came with my drift car, um, and that's, that's sorted it. The suspension is actually now okay. But I've done, I started off at 3000 CST and I've started coming down to try and get it right. And it's just a pain, but because the suspension oil is so hard, it just breaks everything. And I mean, it, it does 2S or 3S, which is good. But on 3S, it's a little bit of an animal. Um, I don't know, guys. But I thought I'd bring it back out again now. Now I'll fix the suspension and we'll see if it's any better. So, let's give her a bit of a spin. I've never actually managed to put a battery through this without it breaking. That's, you know. I mean, if you can drive, if you're a, if you're a good driver of RC cars, which I'm not, um, and you can land every jump you do on the wheels, or nearly every jump, no one can really land every jump, um, you'll be okay. But you know, if you're an experienced RC guy, who knows what he's doing, are you really gonna buy something like this? No, you're probably further on than a hobby and you're gonna buy something a bit more expensive. So it's a bit of a confused car. Um, we run on 3S today. And I mean, I've put the original wheels back on because those ones I had on it gave it a bit too much grip and I think they were breaking things as well. And to be honest, I just wanted to have a bit of fun with it. Because I say, it is my, you know, everyone's got their first RC car. When you talk to people, they say, well, the first car I had was a so-and-so. This is going to be my first car. This will be that car. There's nothing I can do about that. It's the first one I had. <laughs> Well, I don't like the orange wheel. I don't like the looks of it. It looks a bit toy grade, but I mean, it's, it's fairly fast. I mean, I'll say, I've got it on 3S today, um, just because it takes it, so why wouldn't you? Um, I was gonna do a speed to run today, because I've not actually managed to get a speed run done. I had a wheel fall off the first time, and the second time it barrel rolled and snapped the suspension arm. But it's just a bit wet. I don't think we'd get any decent speed out of it. I don't know, I might do it for fun. Should we, should we do it? Yeah, let's do it, shall we? Right, it's registering. I think I got 34 out of this the time that the wheel fell off. Um, <laughs> I think it's got more in it. In fact, the, the, the wet might do it well because it won't wheelie so much and flip itself over. Right, we are flat out. Hmm, that suspension's a bit better. Not great though. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Stop, read, 35. Yeah, you know. 35's fast enough. It's fast enough for a car that uh, doesn't have very good suspension arms. I think they've upgraded the suspension arms now. But again, you know, if you buy this car like I did, <clears throat> ready to run, well, nearly ready to run, when you buy yourself a battery, you buy all the stuff, first time you take it out, bits start falling off it, and you have to fix the suspension before you can use it properly. Is it really a good beginner car? Would you really go recommending it to people if you have to spend two hours and probably 20 quid it's not a lot of money but like 20 quid fixing it first it's, it's just a bit annoying these tires i've got no grip in the wet which is a bit annoying but probably take the speed meter off there because no doubt i'm going to crash it but anyway i mean it is quite good fun you know it's no outcast. Sorry, you're gonna hear that a lot, guys. My favorite car. Definitely better now I've fixed that suspension, though. Definitely better. I mean, it just landed a jump there. It wouldn't have done that before. Oh, that didn't sound good, though. Oh, there's a big... <laughs> there's a big steel box there. Well, it survived a crash. 
I mean, it's, it is quick. It's probably it's way too quick for a... It's, what annoys me, it's nearly there. As you can see, I'm making baby steps into the skateboard ramps. Oh, look at that. Almost looked like I recovered that on purpose. It is a bit wet today. That was cool. And I can't get, although I might, I might put the other wheels back on it, guys, because I can't get any grip in these. I could turn the brake down, I suppose. Ouch. <laughs> There I am saying how weak it is and how it always breaks. And look, you can see by the time, because <laughs> I've just hit that flat out in the air and it didn't break. Okay, okay, okay. Am I being too mean to this guy, guys? Am I being too mean to this car? It kind of... Inflates them built with <laughs> these tyres are cool. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, we broke it, guys. We snapped the suspension. We snapped the, the uh, we snapped the body mounts off, guys. <laughs> to be fair, I think that's probably when I hit the skateboard ramp, though. In the air. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Okay, so I started this video off doing a video of why this car annoys me. <sighs> now I think it's all right. Um, oh, I don't know, it's not broke. Um, fixing that shock oil has made all the difference. It's transformed this car, transformed it. Uh, it handles better, it drives better, it jumps better. Um, Everything about it is better, just from eventually getting that, that shock oil right. So if you're, if you're struggling for shock oil, 200 weight, 200, that's CST 200. I can't give you any links or anything because it's a little bottle that came in one of the cars I bought, but that's what I put in this and it has transformed it. Um, it's still annoying though, why do you have to fix a car? Why, who thinks that's a good idea to put oil in it that's so thick that the car just flips over rather than brake? Don't they, they, I'm sure they must test these things. If they'd done that right in the first place, the problem I've got with this car is every time I take it out, I think it's going to break. And that's because, well, every time I took it out, it's broke. But that's what it's done to me. It's made me doubt it. It's made me think it's going to break every time I take it out, which makes me not want to take it out, which makes you not want to go out with your RC car as much, which kind of spoils your hobby, especially if it's the first car you have. I don't know, guys, what do you reckon? Uh, anyone got a Maverick, Quantum? Anyone like it, dislike it? What's your thoughts? I'd be interested to know. Put in the comments down below, let me know. For me, it's a good starter car. It's gonna, if you've got a battery, it's fantastic, but it's a good starter car. It's gonna cost you a couple hundred quid with a decent battery and a charger. 10 minutes ago, I just said it wasn't worth it. Now I think it probably is. <laughs> is it the best starter car you can buy? Nah, probably not. If you're just gonna start up or you bomb one for your kids, I'd get a Phantom or an FTX or something like that. Something that's very cheap, brushed. I learned that way. This is fast. I mean, it's a bit scary. Flat out on 3S. You can run on 2S, it's fine, but 3S is a bit scary. Anyway, don't forget to, um, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, don't forget to click on the other video, leave a like, any yourself in that competition. You want to, you know, don't miss out on winning the car. If you like that video, guys, you want to see more of the Quantum Flux, um, 
please consider subscribing, give me a like and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the fantastic adventures of Ben and his randomly breaking cars. Cheers guys, I'll see you in the next one.